Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in ASP.NET using C Sharp how to bind multiple tables into a single grid view control. And see here we got the final output in a grid view control. We got the C name, country names, S name, state name, and city name. These three columns are from different tables are joined in a single grid view control. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new ASP.NET project. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I am choosing ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I am using 4.6.1. The application name is Multiple Tables find grid view click ok and from the templates I'm choosing empty click ok and here the project is successfully created open solution explorer I'm creating a new ASP.NET web form page into this project right click the project name add new item I'm selecting web form. The web form name is multiple tables G view. Add. And here we got the source page of this newly created multiple tables G view.aspx. Now between this form tag, I'm adding center tag. H1 bind multiple tables into single grid view control. Horizontal line. After the horizontal line, I'm adding a grid view control. Open toolbox. I'm expanding the data folder. Grid view control. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now right click the mouse, go to view code. Now my next step is, I'm adding my connection string property in web.config file. Open server explorer, data connections, right click that one, add connection. I'm adding my SQL server name. After adding the server name, I'm choosing the database name. Sample DB is my user database. Test connection is succeeded. OK, OK. And here we got the sample db.dbo is added under data connections folder. We need the data source of this sample DB. Right click the sample db.dbo, go to properties. And in the properties, the third option is a connection string, which is a data source. Copy that one. Open Solution Explorer. Open web.config file. In the web.config file, after the configuration, I'm adding connection strings. Add name is equals to, I'm giving name my connection, which is my connection string name. Connection string. I'm pasting the data source. And the last one is a provider name, which is a system dot data dot SQL client. After adding the connection string in the web.config file, I switch back to the code behind. I'm adding the namespaces of SQL server using system.data using system.data.sql client. The last one I'm adding using system.configuration. Now in the page.event string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding my connection string name which is my con I'm pasting here dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection I'm adding this main con variable. After that, string SQL query 
Now in this SQL query I am writing the select statement to join multiple tables using inner join functionality. So before writing the select statement let's open my SQL server database we'll check the tables here I already opened three tables one is a country table second one is a state and the third one is a city I want to bind the country name state name and the city name these three columns I want to bind in the grid view control let's switch back to the coding part select I'm adding the country country table dot C name which is a column name state the table name dot S name and the last one is a city dot city name from I'm adding the table name dbo.country inner join the second table I'm adding state table this one in both tables at least one column must be the same column name if you check if you check in the country table CID 1 2 3 which is a country ID and in the state table I have the CID so I'm using the CID column to joining country and state table on country dot CID is equals to state dot CID again I'm adding inner join this time I am adding dbo dot city table name on state dot SID is equals to city dot SID SQL command SQL com is equals to new SQL command which takes two parameters one is the SQL query comma SQL connection let's open the connection string SQL con dot open method SQL data adapter SDA object name new SQL data adapter which takes a parameter SQL com object data table dt is equals to new data table SDA dot fill method I'm filling with data table object let's bind the data source grid view one dot data source is equals to dt grid view one dot data bind method let's close the connection string as con dot close method that's it we have done the complete coding part we are joining three tables into a single grid view control google chrome And see here we got the final output in a grid view control we got the C name country names S name state name and city name these three columns are from different tables are joined in a single grid view control that's it